Once we have created all the windows in the ground floor, we can take a look at the window styles dialog. In order to edit some of them or create new ones, you can open this dialog from the visual art menu, window, and window styles, or doing right click on the window icon. Now, here we can see all the list of window styles that come along with visual art templates. Just spending each one of them, we can see each one of the components they are composed by and edit its features. If we want to create new window styles, we can just duplicate any of them or go through the window style wizard and create a new style. We can, for example, create a new window style called Bill Savoy 8 by 1, since we'll create one window that has eight horizontal mountains. We create next. Here we define the opening type. Click next. We can define one specific profile for the windows. We can see a list of predefined profiles, although we can create new ones, custom ones. Click next. We define some predefined size for this window, although this is something that we can adjust afterwards by window object. And here we define the components and their dimensions. We can set a frame of 3 cm width. Click Next. We can disable the stock component. And here we can add more leaves if we want and define the width according to a percentage. We click Next. And finally, we disable the seal component for this particular case. You can also use a block in 3D that will replace the geometry of the window in 3D or a block for the 2D representation of the window in 2D. We click Next, Finish. Once the new window style has been created, we can edit its features from the different tabs we have in the right side of the dialog or by selecting a particular component and editing its features. For example, we can select the glass and here define eight horizontal mountains. We can also select the leaf and specify that it's a fixed leaf, so no matter how much we define the max aperture in 2D, that it will be always a fixed leaf. If we take a look at the glass attributes, by default, glass component is assigned automatically to the layer glass, which has a material by layer and that makes it possible to see transparent material in rendered views. Now, we can make a copy of this style, so we will duplicate it. We will call this 8 by 2 and add a vertical mountain. I'm going to duplicate this one again, doing right click on it, and this one would be called Bilswa 4 by 1. And I will define selecting the glass component for horizontal mountains for it. Now, once the styles are created, I can select now the different windows. In this case, I will select the window Bilsawa 8x1 style. This one would be 8x2 and the rest of windows would be 4 by 1. 